Hello, welcome to my house and welcome to my channel. I'm Laura Cepeda and I'm very excited to have all of you again like every Wednesday. Look, today I'm going to show you how you can make this beautiful scarf with pom-poms and with the pop popcorn stitch. I don't know if you, in your country this stitch has a special name, please let me know and con comment below. Well, remember that we are in a new section where I crochet or where I need what you share to me. Well, this idea was from a dear friend from Spain. Thank you so much for sharing this idea with me. I love it, but I couldn't make it um, before because, well, you know, here in Mexico, it's very hot. So I wanted to crochet something uh, in some summer uh, projects for all of you but well now winter and autumn it's right in the corner so we have to get ready and I know that in some places the autumn is already in and the cold is very strong I feel that this year will be stronger than other years so we have to get ready and we have to uh, anticipate it for these seasons also it's perfect that you start Getting ready for your presents for Christmas or for for Secret Santa and for this coming season, okay? Well, I want to apologize in advance with all of you because right next to my house, someone is building something, I don't know, but they last a lot. They have last four days and they make a little bit of noise. So sorry, I can avoid it and I try to make it in a time where they are not working. But we are apparently, they are working all day. And I want to record this video for all of you with all my love. And sorry if you hear some noises, I will try to avoid them. And I will try uh, to erase them while I edit this video. But well, if I can't, I'm sorry because of that. And well, remember that if you have more ideas like this one, please let me know. I love you to make all your ideas. Please send me an email to tejiamigas at gmail.com there I will be receiving all these beautiful ideas and many many more okay well if you are new in my channel well please I will first sorry I will give you the material list and then I will give you the step by step to teach you how we are going to make this beautiful scarf so let's start and let don't lose more time well for this beautiful scarf we are going to use this angorita gold 200 grams and a crochet hook of number five. Remember, if you want to use the same materials that I use in other videos, here I will leave all the information where you can get them. Remember that if you want to buy and use the same materials that I use in all my videos, you can visit my online store www.lauracepeda.es. Well, we are going to start making chains with two threads of angorita, okay, and with the hook of number five. We are going to make as many chains as we need for the wide of our scarf. I will make 30. 30, then chain one, two, and then come back and in the third insert your hook. And then one double crochet of two crochets, like this. And we will make the same in all the stitches, always taking the below part of the chain. At the end, you are going to count that you have 30 double crochets of two crochets. Well, at the end of the 30, turn around, go up with two chains. And then in relief, we are going to make it one double crochet of two crochets, one taking it from the front and one taking it from the back. Like this, we are going to make all the 30 stitches and we are going to make approximately uh, four rows like this in relief. And in the next row will be the same. If you take it from the front, you are going to take it from the front or if the back, from the back. At the end of the four rows, you will have something like this. You will count them like this, four. Well, to start the next row, we are going to go up with two chains. And then here, we are going to skip this. And here we are going to start making 
double crochets of two crochets and we are going to make five we are not going to count the chains that we made at the beginning so here we have four and five in the next stitch we are going to make one double crochet of three crochets and we are going to try to make it loose then in the same hole we are going to make another one of three crochets and loose well like this we are going to make eight in the same stitch like this three four five six seven and eight well we must have eight like this then we are going to continue making the double crochets of two crochets like we make at the beginning like this we are going to make five one two three four and five and then again we are going to repeat the eight stitches like we make here and like this the whole row at the end of the row we are going to crochet like this the last stitch turn around and go up with two and we are going to make the five double crochets of two crochets well let me fix this okay two three four and five and here pay attention we are going to grab our turn insert here the hook we are going to take it from the back in relief take one take one and the last two and leave these ones the stitches here and then again in relief take one one then two and leave these stitches here again in relief one bring one bring two together and the last leaving in the hook and again we are going to repeat in all the eight uh, stitches that we make of double crochets of three crochets be careful and remember always take both threads with you this stitch is so trendy right now in my spanish channel i have a sweater with the sleeves with this same stitch and you love it and i think i have seen a lot of garments with this stitch and i love it well let's count how many we have so far if we have the eight well i think that i have the eight right well now very slowly and carefully bring all of them then through together pull a little bit and close with one chain and here is the bone bone and bumper i don't know how you you call this <laughs> and now we are going to continue making the next five double crochets of two crochets one two three four and five so here we are going to start also please try to count your stitches and try to make sure that you have 30 okay it's pretty easy and especially in this stitch to lose some stitches so always count them and remember that between each popcorn we are going to make five uh, double crochets of two crochets and well we are going to continue like this the whole row now here we are going to start making the popcorn like we made here remember well let's continue and see you when I finish this row well look here I finished the row and at the end I have one two four uh, popcorns now the next row we are going to make just one row of um, double crochets of two crochets we are going to make this stitch the whole row remember that we must have 30 
For us, it will be easy to count this way. So we are going to make the five double crochets of two crochets that we made before the popcorn. And then here, where is the popcorn? Here in this stitch, we are going to insert our hook. Okay, let's try it to lose it a little bit. And here, one. And then again, the next five. And again, over the, the popcorn, one. And like this, the whole row. So far, we will have something like this. Well, now, the next row, we are going to alternate the pom-poms, these popcorns, okay? We are going to make one here and here, here in the middle, here and here. At the end, at the end we will have one, two, three, four, and five. Well, now to continue with the next row, we will go up with two chains and we are going to make two double crochets of two crochets like this and then we are going to make the pom poms. Well, look, I get ahead and at the end we will have something like this. Look, for this design we will have one, two, three, four and five rows. I'm missing one row of popcorn. Here in this row we made four, then we made five, then four, and again five, and the next row we will make four. So remember that I'm missing one row, so when we finish the five rows, see you there. So look, here I finished, and before I continue, I want to tell you that we have both uh, views. You can have the popcorns with this split, or without. It's up to you. I like it like this because the popcorn looks bigger. <laughs> so I will leave it like that but it's up to you like you like it. Well remember before you continue you must have 30 stitches okay. If you for something you eat one stitch or you have uh, less well don't worry because here in the next row we can put two in one stitch or vice versa. If you have more stitches, well, you can um, eat the stitches that you have more, okay? Well, now from here, we are going to start making rows of uh, double crochets, of two crochets in each stitch until we have the long that we want. If you want to make more rows with popcorns, well, you can make more. Remember that this is my design and this is just one idea, but you can make it like you want, okay? I found this stitch very interesting. I think that you can make a blanket. It will look beautiful, right? Well, we are going to continue like this and see you in the other side. Remember that we are going to repeat this part. We will have five uh, rows of pop popcorns and then we are going to continue making rows like this with this stitch. Until then, see you there to teach you how we are going to continue. Well, if you want this scarf a little bit longer, you will need more material, okay? With this two skein of yarn, you will have something like this. Okay, look at the colors, look at the little sparkles on it, it's so beautiful. Well, we are going to stop here and I wanted to give you a tip before we continue. This probably happened to you, but sometimes you are going to take the stitch like this or like this from the back to have this in relief and to have this little pleat okay so you will see like the stitch by its own it's going to tell you what you are going to need well we have five rows of popcorn and remember that you must make the same number of rows that you make in the other side okay so look this is what it's left well, I will measure the scarf to tell you how many centimeters I made, so you will have an idea. Okay, so let's continue. Well, before I measure it, I wanted to remind you that at the end, you will uh, hide all of these loose threads, like this with your hook. But well, now let's see how many centimeters this scarf measures. 
Well, look, I counted my made 60 rows and it measured 150. Well, now let's see how it looks. Well, so what do you think? Easy and fast, right? I love to make this project with you. Thank you to share this idea with me. Thank you to my Spanish friend that shared this beautiful idea with me. As I told you, this is just an idea and you can use this stitch for any other project. As I told you, I imagined this stitch in a blanket. I think it would look beautiful. For a baby blanket, you can make the popcorns a little bit small and it will look as sweet. Please, if you make it, take a picture and tag me. I love to see uh, this break with this stitch. Also, uh, you can make a sweater, as I told you, I have in my Spanish channel. I have a sweater with this same uh, stitch in the sleeves and it looks amazing. It's so trendy. I have seen a lot of magazines and while I'm in Instagram, I have seen this stitch a lot. It's so trendy and I think that for this season, you will look amazing and for a present it will be a very good idea okay also if you make this scarf please take a picture and tag me i love to see you wearing all of these beautiful creations please uh, also please follow me on my social media in instagram in facebook and of course here in my channel in youtube in both channels if you haven't being in my Spanish channel where I share more projects like this one, little by little, I will share all the videos that I have there in Spanish in English. So remember, if you have more ideas like this one that are easy and fast, please send me an email to tejamigas at gmail.com and there I will see and I will receive all your beautiful ideas, okay? I love also all your beautiful comments and your beautiful messages. You are so sweet and thank you for all your tips. Remember that this is not my mother language. I'm doing my best. I hope that you understand my explanations. I try to make the best I can. Sorry if I have a mistake in English, but I'm learning. I'm still learning and I have sometimes I don't use the correct terms in English. So I'm sorry, but I'm trying. I'm learning. And I'm trying to do my best for you. Thank you so much and see you next Wednesday, okay? Please don't forget to subscribe and please don't forget to leave up your comments. Bye!